Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. Once again we'll be using Anne Morrow's The Green Witch Tarot for today's Daily Tarot reading. This is for the 13th of May 2024. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. As you see we have the um, Meditation Chakra Tapestry. So we'll see how that plays into our reading today. All right, my lovelies, I have all of your cards on the table. Um, believe it or not, we have uh, three aces. Um, so we have one, one, one showing up as a synchronicity. We also have the magician card on here. So we have 11, 11 showing up for you. We also have 11 major arcanas on the table. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of ones in this reading already. Um, and we also have all four tens on the table. So we have 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, 888 also as a synchronicity so far that I've noticed um, and you know it makes up for yesterday where I had no synchronicities for you anyway we're gonna get started the best part of your day we start off with the eight of swords the hermit strength the ten of Pentacles the Six of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Sun card. Okay. Okay, so uh, looking within some reflection here, we've dug deep, and this actually benefits us very, very well. Um, either after a period of getting stuck or in this case if you look at how she is posed um, She's not standing up straight. She is actually out of alignment um, It's the eight of swords. Of course, you're you're stuck. You've got limitations, etc um, But in this case, it's literally uh, out of alignment um, And the way she is on this card along with the tree that is also on it um, The shape of it is um, but flagging me okay so we're out of alignment some rumination here going deep um, is, is actually quite prudent uh, also very much uh, successful we gain what we need to endure to continue on we've learned something of value by doing so here with the page of swords our little investigator our forever student here in the tarot so that is an award uh, a reward all of itself coming back into alignment or Identifying areas where we are misaligned. Why? Because when we find out where we're misaligned, we can find out how to freaking fix it. Um, but first you have to usually identify where you're out of alignment. And please note our tapestry for today is our meditative chakra tapestry. I kind of wondered if we were going to have uh, some block chakras or, you know, writer's block or creative blocks of some sort show up. Um, and instead, we're just talking misalignment, coming back into alignment. Um, so we'll see what areas that pertains to. If it comes up in a specific area or if it doesn't, it may not. It is a general reading, so please take what resonates and apply it to your own situation. Um, your worst part of your day. We start off with the Magician. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Two of Swords in the reverse. The Nine of Swords. And I apologize for my dog. He's going to bark his head off. Um, the Four of Cups. The Chariot in the reverse. The Five of Cups. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. Hm. Worst part of your day. Yeah, 
trying and failing, not getting things to move forward despite the decisions we are making. It's not that we're not making decisions, it's that we're making the wrong ones. Um, and this, of course, causes anxiety, or even worse yet, we are making choices based on stress, anxiety, pressure to do something right, even um, after thinking on it. Thinking and worrying that we are headed in the wrong direction. We're not going in the right direction. So perhaps you might have actually self-sabotaged or unfortunately use the law of attraction incorrectly because if we're making choices because things are going wrong and we expect them to go wrong we can actually manifest them to go wrong um, because the universe says okay this is the energy we're embodying and we get more of that and unfortunately that is a very sad potential but one that we could be self-creating um, we just see the uh, negative aspect. We see the the misalignment. We see the stress or worse yet, we don't know where the misalignment is yet. Um, and instead we just see the result of the obstacle. We haven't identified the obstacle. That answer unfortunately hasn't hit us yet. So we just keep making random guesses and choices trying to uh, figure out a way through instead of trying to identify the source, instead of trying to identify the problem instead of trying to identify the roadblock that we see that shows up as the Eight of Swords to begin with. Okay. So perhaps slowing down and being a little bit more prudent, making sure that um, we see the bigger picture or don't make decisions rashly. There might be a fear of repeating the same cycle, yet repeating the same cycle, because we've not um, really chosen something different. Instead, we're just choosing something else for a lack of a better way of focusing and moving in alignment towards our direction. And when we're in, in alignment, finding our flow state, as we call it, is a lot easier. And when we're in flow, making decisions and making the right decisions are also come easier. So usually if you're struggling so much, there's a misalignment somewhere. So identifying that misalignment is why it's important. Okay, now our obstacle or how to get over our obstacle. We, all, we start off with a ten of swords. The star in the reverse. The five of wands in the reverse. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Ace of Swords. The Seven of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Wands in the reverse. Justice. Death. The Four of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse. We have the uh, Ten of Wands in the reverse. And the Three of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> well, number one. Um, if we want the struggle, <laughs> as it were, um, the frustration, the hardship to end, um, running away from it doesn't help. Not recommended. Um, the obstacles are given to you as challenges. There are ways for you to grow, to learn, to test yourself, to also learn your limits. Um, in this case, if you're having a misalignment, this could actually be literally a test to see if you can realign yourself or if you can identify, hey, I can't connect to source. Oh, my crown chakra is blocked. Or, oh, I'm having issues with this in my physical body, a health issue. So that is pertaining to what chakra? Oh, that is um, not clear and needs to be cleansed. Uh, this could be applied in so many different ways. Like I said, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates. But not running away from it and seeing it 
the truth of it, the heart of the matter will help you. It'll help you to make sure that you're not actually making choices willy-nilly, that you're not just choosing for the sake of choosing or choosing because you don't know any better. This will help level you out and end that endless cycle of um, bad choices, poor choices. That way you can start choosing correctly things that will have the right outcome, things that will mirror the circumstances that you're actually looking for. A full cause and effect that will be successful the next opportunity we need to get a chance to and make a decision correctly. So it, it's toggling things over. Instead of things going astray, once we see clearly here and identify where the misalignment is and start aligning ourselves, with the correct opportunity and make choices, the obstacles will automatically fall away on their own and we can stop being stressed, we can stop being worried, we can stop being scared, we can stop being afraid. Um, and worse yet, um, if there's any discomfort, whether that is physically, mentally, emotionally, that will also fade, that also goes away. Why? Because you're entering that flow state, you're in alignment and things start just falling into place. Okay, but until you fix the alignment, resistance is what you get. Making choices just for the sake of making choices is not wise. <laughs> making choices because you know it's the right one, even if you can't foresee every single good thing that'll come about it or um, see the biggest potential for it to go right. But knowing that it's the right one it is better. Why? Because you know the energy is moving in that direction anyway. Okay. Interesting. We're doing more energy and metaphysics today than um, the shadow work side, I would call little bit of a switch. Not much difference, mind you, but it's still a switch. Um, and I did it up all your cards for the sake of numerology. Everything here adds up to 223. That ultimately reduces to seven, which is the mind and creativity. Now, it's not necessarily that you need a creative way to get out of this. It just means you need to slow down, you get clear, get refocused, Make sure your intentions are headed in the right direction. Your energy is moving in the right direction, which that mental fog, lack of clarity, um, hmm, certain chakras might be blocked. You're out of alignment. That needs to come back into sync. And that will give you the clarity you need um, and help you make choices as a, you know, um, a secondary aspect hmm. okay oh yes and since the numerology is seven that gives us seven 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 for an additional synchronicity and for those of you that do like the astrology portion the sun in taurus conjuncts uranus and taurus embrace unconventional um and do things new and unusual ways embrace the quirky side of yourself um, and maybe that's may pertain to you. Um, maybe that's where your uh, misalignment is. Maybe you're not actually accepting or working with your authentic self enough. Maybe you're trying to cage it and fit it into a stereotypical society standard and that doesn't work. Um, Venus in Taurus, sextiles Saturn and Pisces. Working on your goals is more enjoyable, feel more ambitious. Um, 
So if you do have that energy, make the most of it. The moon also enters a Leo. Connect to your heart. Remind yourself to enjoy life and have more fun. Um, in this case, out of that whole entire thing, I would say uh, connect to your heart. Um, hmm. Your heart, your gut, okay. Um, because sometimes when our mind fails us when thinking, sometimes it's our gut, our gut feeling, um, and the emotions that we have that can actually either help us or hurt us. In this case, if we've got mental confusion, maybe we need to stop trying to use mental energy and go for the feeling. <coughs> Excuse me. That way, we can get back into alignment. <coughs> All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. And if this resonates for you, by all means, give me two big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.